So this is a uh, 2022 Toyota Tacoma SR5 double cab with the five and a half foot bed. Barcelona red's the color on this and it really does hit all the sweet spots nicely. So in this video, I'm gonna walk around the outside and then we'll dive inside and check out the interior features. This one has a couple accessories. I'll point those out as we go along. Let's get started. So up front on the SR5 edition, finished off pretty nicely the way they've uh, done the uh, front end of this. So a huge Toyota badge, of course your dynamic radar cruise controls behind this badge, and then a slatted front grille with a metallic finish. Projector style headlights, automatic high beams, automatic on and off with your headlights, and they do wrap around the side with some nice marker lamps here on the side as well. Down below we do have fog lights. These are halogen fog lights. There is an upgrade for an LED fog light, but these are gonna be your halogen. And then again, all the way across the bottom, ABS trim surrounding those fog lights to protect them. The front bumper cover here, also matte black finish. That'll pop right off if you do pick up any scratches, dents, or dings. You can replace that yourself. Down below on the SR5, there is a Valance down here that gives it a lower look. There are some Vortex generators on here as well. Underneath there is a skid plate. It's a steel skid plate up under there. Hopefully you can see it. So it does not come with the aluminum skid plate. It is an independent front suspension. The over fenders on the SR5, they're painted color to match, Barcelona red. This one has the black wheel option, so you can get it with black or silver. These are the black wheels, which look really nice on this one because this one also has the black badge package. I'll show you that when we get to the back. So it's a cast aluminum wheel, black painted matte black finish with chrome lug nuts. 245 75 series tire so a nice wide sidewall is what you want when doing some off-road driving on here as I mentioned a fully independent front suspension front disc brakes anti-lock brakes all the way around this one does have two accessories I'll point out at this point actually three so the first one is going to be these tubular step rails installed at the factory that's an extra charge and then the factory installed mud guards up front and on the rear wheels is an extra charge. And then Tacoma blacked out badge there and your SR5 badge here, that is an extra charge as well. Color to match outside door handles. SR5 does not have the smart keyless entry system so you need to use your remote fob or your key to get in. Color to match outside mirrors with LED turn signals. These fold in, so if you're going to do some off-road driving, that'll be handy to uh, minimize damage to those mirrors. They also break away, like so. So if somebody clips your mirror with a bicycle or grocery cart, minimize damage. Blind spot monitoring. These are also heated outside mirrors. They're also power operated. Matte black finish trim around the windows. And your B-pillar is matte black applique as well. That way you'll uh, minimize the number of scratches on the paint right there. This one, does they do not come with the sunroof on the SR5, so no sunroof. Shark fin antennas, matte black. Here's your bed light. Privacy glass on the back windows, back door windows. And then, of course, this window here slides open as well. And then Tacoma does come with a composite bed. And so with the composite bed, you have an integrated bed liner on here as well. You can do a spray-in bed liner, uh, may or may not be necessary. We do have tie-down uh, cleats that go here and then tie-downs in all four corners. And this one does have the bed light package. So you do pick up the extra lights here in the bed, which can be handy if you add a locking to tonneau cover. There's another one over here. And then this is just a storage cubby. These are notched out here so you can put uh, maybe a, a two by six across if you want to add a second level in there as well. But uh, the tailgate is a slow release and it does have over the lip protection all the way around the bed. Across the back here, we've got the blacked out badging. Again, extra charge V6, Tacoma, and 4x4. Your door handle does have Toyota stamped in here. This is a locking uh, tailgate, so if you do put that tonneau cover on, you're going to be able to lock it up tight. 
And then here's your backup camera here. As far as the bumper goes, it's slip resistant, so it's coated. So when getting up inside, uh, you're hopefully not gonna slip and slide. There's a license plate lights right here and here. You've got four and seven pin plugs all ready to go. This vehicle's ready to tow right off of the dealer's lot. Here's your uh, receiver hitch here. Full size spare tire up underneath there. And then here's a quick look at the uh, rear suspension under there as well. That wheel is not the same as the wheels on the ground. That's gonna be a steel wheel there, but it is gonna provide you that extra uh, security when towing a trailer if you end up uh, getting a flat tire, you don't wanna a donut. Traveling down the side, our gas door is gonna be here. I mentioned mud guards front and rear. Again, an extra charge. Let's go ahead and swing around. We'll pop the hood and take a look at the engine here. The 2022 Tacoma only comes with one engine. And so this is uh, Toyota's 3.5 liter uh, V6. That is a uh, 24 valve V6 with VVTi. Uh, it's connected to a six speed automatic transmission. The engine and the transmission combined to 278 horsepower with a towing capability up to 6,500 pounds. So a, a kind of a light duty to maybe a small, medium duty camper or trailer like that. It does have an oversized battery and transmission cooler sway control for your trailer as well. The warranty on the engine is uh, in the transmission, five years, 60,000 miles, no deductible. We also have Toyota Care, so your oil changes, your fluid top-offs, and your tire rotations. Toyota's gonna cover that at no additional charge uh, for two years or 25,000 miles. And then the vehicle itself has a three-year, 36,000-mile limited warranty. Again, no deductible on that. Let's go ahead and uh, dive inside and check it out. So starting on the driver's door, this one has the uh, light gray interior. So you have a combination of light gray here, padded armrest, and then going down into the charcoal and, and black down below. A blacked out door handle, one touch up and down on all four windows, power door locks, power mirrors, bottle holders down here, and a speaker in each of the four doors. So just really covers the basics on the doors. No power memory seat or anything like that. The driver's seat, power uh, forward backwards, power recliner, uh, power lumbar support. This is gonna be a cloth uh, bucket seat, very comfortable with side airbags built right into there. We do have height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belts up front. Take a look at the dashboard here. So across the dashboard, there's four of these vents. They're kind of omnidirectional, so you can point them wherever you want. And then they've got this gunmetal gray metallic trim around here. Moving down here, here's our traction control on and off, our cargo light for our bed on and off. Uh, automatic high beams are here. Hood release is here, brake, gas, dead pedal, all where you'd expect them. And then it does have a tilt steering wheel. You pull down on this handle, move it, and then you can tighten it back up to where you want it to be. So again, just covering the basics really well. Let's go ahead and grab a seat. Behind the wheel of the SR5 Tacoma double cab, there is a lot of room up here. Uh, when the seats are pushed all the way back, six footers are gonna be just fine. It might be a little tight in the back seat, but I wanted to give you just a bird's eye view. I've got my camera basically up against my nose right now so you can get a, that perspective. But here's a quick look at the leg room down below. So I'm 5'7", so I'm a little short, but you can see I can barely touch the pedal and I've got a lot of knee room here. So if you're six foot plus, I think you're gonna be just fine behind the wheel of a Tacoma. So let's take a look at the uh, steering wheel here. The SR5 edition does come with a leather wrap steering wheel. It's perforated, not heated. Driver side airbag. Controls for your sound system are here. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone. Controls for the information center, which is gonna be right up in the middle there. We'll get there in just a moment. And then we have our dynamic radar cruise control settings, our lane departure on and off, and then cruise controls down here. Now on the uh, st steering column, we've got wiper controls for up front with intermittent wipers for the front uh, wipers. And then over on this side are our headlights. We have auto on and auto off. And then we also have our fog light controls are gonna be right here. 
let's uh, go ahead and fire it up so you can see what the gauges look like. Uh, this one does not have the smart keyless entry system, so you kind of have the old school key fob with the remote controls. So you have to put that in, and for those of you that don't know, you then turn it and away you go. Here's a quick look at our gauge cluster. So I'm just going to turn on the AC a little bit here. There we go. So on our gauge cluster on the left is our tack and our temperature and then on the right is the speedometer and the fuel gauge and then an information center in the middle. Um, this one's running low on fuel so it's telling me that. We also have an outside temperature it's 83 degrees outside lane departure and then we can use these controls right here to control what displays up here whether it's our fuel computer whether it's our personalization there's a digital speedometer so a lot of different information up in here and those are all controlled by the fingertip controls right here on the steering wheel turn our attention over to the center stack here so here's two more of those omnidirectional vents i mentioned you can turn them off and on there's one over there too so a total of four and it feels nice right now because it's getting steamy outside here in madison Here's our, inform or our infotainment center, if you will, our sound system. So uh, let's start with the menus. We do have an audio uh, so we can control our sound system in terms of AM, FM, XM, satellite, what have you. There's also a small app suite. You can plug your phone in and talk through the sound system. Um, on that Cirrus satellite radio, uh, you do get... Um, three months of the platinum subscriptions at no charge and then after that you'd have to subscribe of course it has apple carplay android auto and alexa compatibility uh, it does not have navigation that's going to be an app when you plug your phone in and run your phone through the system you can use the navigation there uh, moving down the center stack here Let's take a look at what we've got. We've got um, four-wheel drive selector over here, so no handles to move, you just turn the dials. Uh, heated outside mirrors, right there. Automatic temperature control, you can see up here we have automatic temper control, driver and front passenger. Front window defrost is right here. Then moving further down, in fact, let me uh, go ahead and shift it into reverse so you can see the backup camera too. So that's gonna be the backup camera there. And it does not have path projection, so it doesn't tell you which dire direction you're backing up. But it is nice and clear and it's easy to read and see from the driver's perspective. Back down to the uh, center console. Let's turn this down a little bit. So here's our blind spot monitoring. Here's our electronic transfer case on and off. Here's our rear window power switch. So I mentioned before on the outside, the back window opens up. And the way you open it is use this switch and then give it a push. Nice to have that power sliding mirror bit or window back there. Open all the windows, pop that open, you get some nice airflow through here. Uh, back down here, we've got USB A, 12 volt out outlet there. Little storage compartment down here. There's no wireless charging on this level, the SR5. Two cup holders. Here's our transmission selector. There's a storage cubby here and an additional cup holder here. And then your parking brake is right here, which is nice for off-road driving to be able to manipulate and use the handbrake as you're trying to finagle your way around. Padded armrest on the center console. This is a stationary armrest. It doesn't slide forward and backwards. Underneath there's some storage here and I don't know if you can see it. Maybe here, let me turn off the light here. So there's some uh, two USB ports way down here. They're kind of a pale blue color. Um, so you've got a USB A and a C down there as well. Take a look at the uh, passenger side seats. Passenger uh, assist grip right there. You've got a dry, uh, airbag up in the dash and you also have side airbags built into the seats. Vanity mirrors illuminated. Visors slide in and out. Nice feature to have. Overhead we've got our lights. This is safety connect so if you need help out on the road push that and Toyota will get your roadside assistance. And then this right here is a place to stow your sunglasses. 
And then as far as your rear view mirror, the SR5 does come with the automatic dimming mirror. And it also has a compass in there, but it does not have the garage door opener. So you have a compass and it will automatically dim for uh, bright lights coming from behind you. So that's a quick uh, look up front. Let's go ahead and jump in the back seat and check it out. So here's a quick look from the back seat up at the driver's compartment. Uh, I will say the back seats are adequate for adults for short rides. Uh, I've got this seat all the way back. So if you're a six footer, that's where you're gonna probably put the seat. And I did that because I wanted to show the knee room. So I'm 5'7", and I don't think I'd wanna ride behind the driver, a super tall pe person very far. Short trips would probably be good, but on a long distance, it's not gonna work. Two cup holders here. There are some vents down there for the back seat uh, heat and air conditioner to come through. There's no place to charge or plug in your devices back here. And then there's a pocket on this seat, but not one over here. There's passenger assist grips up here. There's coat hooks up here as well. The doors are fairly basic. Power window switch, there's a speaker, there's bottle holders as well. Um, and then these back seats do fold down. I'll show you that in just a minute But I wanted to show you there are three seat belts back here as well And there's also connectors for child safety seats as well So I'm gonna go ahead and jump out and show you this folding feature The back seats on the uh, Tacoma are probably the One area that I criticize the most the way to fold these down is not easy First of all, you have to have those seats further forward. You can't have them all the way back if you do, you're not going to be able to fold them down. And then the seat base does pop up on both sides. And you can see I've put the headrest in here. So you have to take the headrest out to get the seat to fold down. Once you've taken the headrest out, then the seat will fold down pretty easily, just like this. What I do like about the backs of the seats is they're a very hard, sturdy plastic, so they don't, won't crack, uh, dent, or ding up. There is some storage down in here as well. And then there's also um, a place here for plastic grocery bags. So if you go to the store, you just hook them on there. If they're dripping anything, they're gonna drip down in here. There is a child safety seat anchor right here as well. And then the other side folds down too. And you can see there's a storage compartment underneath here. This storage compartment has your uh, jack and your toolkit and a little extra storage. This is not where you want to put wet items though because you can't get the water out of there and it will actually leak out. So it's not designed as a cooler type of thing. But then this will fold down and you can actually seat two people over there while having this side down. This all comes back up and there is a storage compartment on this side right there. And this little bag here has all the uh, cleats that you use in the bed to tie stuff down. So those are your tie downs. And then you can close it up like that. But in order to get the seat to come out or go back down, I've got to remove this headrest. Then I can drop it down and then I'll have to put the headrest back up in there. So I hope Toyota, when they redesign the Tacoma, come up with a better solution. So that's the uh, 2022 Toyota Tacoma Double Cab SR5 Edition Barcelona Red. Some great options on this one. Hey, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.